Um, also, what you can do before applying glitter, because it is kind of messy, you have to be really careful with it. Um, you can apply, you can apply um, some translucent powder. And again, um, this is like setting powder. Um, but what you could do is just get it right underneath your eye. Put it right in that area so if any gets um if any glitter falls you can go ahead and just wipe it off and because this is transparent it's not going to mess up your makeup at, at all it it comes right off and and then it's also setting your um your foundation as well so you get that on and then also what i do um because uh it helps with the glitter adhering to your eyelid is I spray some um, some Mac Mac um, fix plus which is really oh it's like a skin refresher and um, it, it also sets your makeup so I'm just gonna spray a little in the eye area <laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay <sighs> okay once you've done that I'll just take a brush like uh, I use the the 252 brush and then I'll just pick up I'm just gonna spray a little bit more fix plus to get it on the eye. oops see doesn't that look so pretty All right, wrong way okay so again you can just take your time and apply however you like to have it on your lid as much as you like go into the crease I mean yes a little bit above the crease and then also in the corner okay you might have to take a smaller brush like the pencil brush like this one and then just dip it in there just so you can get in the corners around the tear duct area and then you can bring it down in the lower lash part. Okay, like so. And then you're just going to repeat on the other side. I'm just going to spritz. Okay, Diva, so as you can see, I have applied um, the glitter to both sides of my eye. Okay, I think that is about as much as I want to do. I also applied it in the tear duct area, as you can see. Um, so now that's done, you, you can do your eyebrows. Um, I like to fill in my eyebrows. Um, listen here. If I don't tell you anything else, if you're, well, let me just say this. It depends on the look that you're going for. Uh, where you, there are times where you would use black um, um, eyeliner or uh, pencil or eyebrow pencil for your brows. Um, like uh, occasions on um, Halloween. Gentle, <laughs> gentle strokes and then I'll go back and try to brush it out to keep it to make it look as natural as possible okay like so Once I've done okay that, I'll take my um my brow brush which is the 204 from Max this also to tame your hair on your eyebrow on your um brow just do that and then I go and repeat on this side for the sake of this look I mean you know and I'm not going any more special I'll just leave it like that so now my brows are done and now that I'm done with the um, glitter okay I can go ahead and brush off that probably fell on to the rest of my makeup like so just brush it off dust it out okay 
Um, that night, um, I used, and I'm going to try to remember what I used because I mix up my blushes. You know, I use two and three, sometimes four different colors depending on, you know, what I'm trying to do. But that night, I think I used two. And I don't know if you could see these colors. It doesn't look as bright as they really are. Mm. Well, in person, they look really, really bright. And I used, actually, these two colors. And I think that's Rhubarb and Dolly Mix, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this is Rhubarb. They're both in the pink family. Um, Azalea, if you could see this like in person, it is like, whoo, so bright. But it's, oh, so pretty. So delicious. So what I did was just tap. Mm. Just tapped these two colors just to get a little bit on the brush. See, it's very little. And then... Because I already have high cheekbones, I don't, you get a lot of people that a smile. And I used to do that a lot. You smile and then you put it there. But my cheekbones are already high. So I'm just going to, I know my bone structure. So I just apply it where I, wherever I want it. Okay. So I just apply it there on the apples of my cheek. And then I go up into the temple area, like so. And then if you want to add a little more, you can. Okay. And then just, and don't be afraid to use the blush. I love, love brush, blush, excuse me. Um, so I'm not afraid to use it. And I will do any color. Okay, Divas, now that we have our blush on, just make sure it's blended well. And done on the other side. Now that you have your blush on, the lips are conditioned. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention that. Like you want to, in in order to have a smooth um, lipstick app, um, application, you want to moisturize your lips. And and I use like uh, this lip conditioner uh, from Mac. Um, it has some um, SPF in it. It's SPF 15. Uh, which is good, especially if you're going to be out in the sun. Yes, we are African-American women, but we too have to uh, protect our skin, especially if you want it to look really nice um, and smooth and no, uh, show no signs of like sun, sun damage and pre-aging um, wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. Protect your skin, ladies. So, like I said, I use this lip conditioner and I, you know, put it on um, before I start my whole makeup routine. So, by the time I'm ready to do my lips, you don't have this like really dried out, crusty lips. Um, and when you try to apply your lipstick, you have like all these lines and, and it doesn't look good and you have your skin, um, um, you know, peeling off in it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't be sitting there like, ew, you know, boo. <laughs> Whatever. I know I'm crazy. It just says she is a hot mess. Okay. I know it. I know it. Get it from one of my sisters, Taya. Ah, you thought I was going to slip on that, boo? On no, honey. You are crazy, boo. Okay. All right. So, um, actually, before I do that, one more thing that I like to do, um, and this is just an extra step. You ladies don't have to do it. Like I said, depending on my night or where I'm going, I will contour and highlight. Uh, I'm just going to uh, use uh, a little bit of, uh, I'm just going to contour just a little bit on my um, cheek area. Um, I'm using Definitive um, Sculpting Powder, and again, it's from MAC. Um, you guys don't have to use the products that I use. I'm not endorsing MAC. All the products that I use, I have paid for out of my own pocket. No one has given me anything. So um, this is just a brand that I use. I mean, and, and I like it. I, I use other products, and I like that as well. But for this look, I everything that I use was MAC. So, um, again, I'm using Definitive uh, Sculpting Powder. And I'm just going to sculpt my cheeks, you know, just to give it a little bit more definition. Okay. So, okay, ladies, now that we've um, 
uh, apply the um, definitive sculpting powder on the cheek area. Um, also, what I did that night was apply a little bit on my cheek area uh, for a little shimmer. And you want to be use this a little sparingly. You don't want to use a lot. I got that's probably a little bit too much. Um, but this is um, golden bron bronze um, loose powder and um, it, it's an iridescent powder and it gives you a shimmer you can use this all over your body sometimes I put it like in my chest area um, but that night I just added a little bit right there I don't know if you can see because my lighting see you, well you can see the difference from this side and then this side see how nice and shiny that the top looks. of my um, cheek bone right there on the top just to give a little highlight and then you can also you know put it at the top and then you can run down the center of your nose like so okay and then a little there so Whoop. okay alright so and again that is a iridescent loose powder and it's golden bronze um, by MAC and now oh I have to make sure I do my eye my eyelashes um I actually used uh, false eyelashes that night and I don't remember what number it was but they were really long and you know whatever but um they it, it depends you, you can do it without you know lashes or whatever um but that night I did use lashes for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to use lashes um, but um, even when I'm just uh, wearing my own lashes, I like to curl. Make sure you curl because curling, you know, you may not think that it makes a difference, but it does. Um, it opens up your eyes. So um, make sure you always curl before you apply your mascara. Okay? There you go. And just do the other side. Okay, now that we've applied our mascara, we'll go ahead and finish up this look. Okay, but um, what you want to do is uh, apply your your liner first. So um, I'm using Current, which I think Current is like a very, very old um, color. I'm not sure if they still carry it. I, every time I go and purchase um, makeup, I go to... like so all right so and then okay so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the lip glass and this is called um, lavender wind from Mac and it's just like a um, purple color with some gold flakes in it so I'm just gonna apply that not all over the lips just in the center part When you apply lip glass in like the center part of your lip and at the top, it gives an illusion that you have bigger lips. So, so that's what I'm just doing. The middle, <laughs> the middle um, part. But that again, that's lavender uh, wind. Okay, divas, that completes the look. Okay, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions regarding this look or any questions, period, about any of the products that I use, feel free to, um, to send me an email and you can reach me at 5 star diva makeup at gmail.com and that's the number 5 um, star diva makeup. Okay.